Guess what? I have five PowerPoint slide templates that I want to give to you for absolutely free. Each and every slide is fully customizable to your needs. Whether you're presenting to your boss, your professor, your colleague, your employees, or your mother-in-law, you can use these five slides in any way that you'd like. And to get them, you only have to do just one thing. Click on the first link on the YouTube description and sign up to the Slack Cow mailing list. Your welcome email will consist of a download link with these slides. Thank you and enjoy. Welcome back to another video from SlideCow. My name is Yo-Yo and together we're going to make your slides amazing. This week's tutorial is all about making an objective slide. Now I made an objective slide around a year or so ago, but the truth is I felt it was a little bulky. That's why I wanted to revisit that tutorial and make this one. You know, we're gonna play around with white space. We're gonna make things a lot more sleeker. We're going to make it look awesome. Don't be intimidated. It's really easy to do. Let's get started. Step one, make the dart a dartboard. All right, so assuming that we have a blank slide, the first thing we're gonna do is head on over to insert, click on shapes, and then bring in a circle, right? Draw it a circle by holding shift just like this and make six copies of it. That's six right there. I'm gonna make everything white and I'm just gonna put in a black outline for now. Now, it doesn't matter where your shapes are right now because we're gonna be playing with everything in just a bit. So here's what we're going to do, right? We have six shapes and we have to change the size for each and every shape to represent a dartboard. Uh, the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna click on one shape here and we're gonna to go to format. Now, we're gonna change the size using the size module just over here, right? The size tab just there. Um, but just something to keep in mind, I'm using centimeters as a metric here. I understand that a lot of people have inches there. That's fine. Just use a centimeters to inches converter um, and, and you'll be fine. But I'm using centimeters just to be precise. So I'm gonna change this to one, one, just like this. The second one, I'm gonna make two, two. Third one, three, three. Fourth one is four, four. Fifth one is five, five. Can you guess what the sixth one is? Yep, it's a thousand, no, I'm just kidding. It's just six and six. All right, so once we have these six shapes on the slide, our job is to rearrange them to create a dartboard. Now, the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna go from smallest to biggest, whereby the smallest is gonna be at the front and the biggest is going to be at the back. We're gonna use that pattern. So, what are we gonna do? Well, first of all, we have the biggest one here. We're gonna bring this guy over here. We're just gonna bring that to the front here. Bring this one, just like that. Bring this one. Remember, I'm bringing these to front. Look at, look at the sizing, look at the arrangement here, sorry. Look at the arrangement. Bring this one to front as well, just like that. And finally, I'm bringing this one to front as well, just like this, easy peasy. Highlight everything, go to arrange, align, align middle, and arrange, align, align center. Perfect, okay, so now we have a dartboard. Now it's time to color it in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the, the middle one white, I'm gonna make this one red, this red color, this one red, and this one red. Perfect, okay. Now that we have a dartboard, just gonna highlight everything, go to format, go to shape outline or no outline. You can keep the outlines, but I hate outlines so much, right? So I'm just going to highlight everything here and just group it up. Now we can resize it or do whatever we want to it, but I'm just gonna keep it as is for now. I'm gonna put this to the side. It's now time to make our um, little dart that's gonna go in the middle here. And to do that, it's really simple. All I have to do is go to insert, click on shapes and click on this shape over here, which is the rectangle colon, rounded corners. Not the normal rectangle, but the one with the rounded corners. I'm gonna click that and just draw something out that looks like this. Let's just zoom in here. I'm gonna make that thinner. I'm gonna move this yellow circle all the way to the right. So we have very round corners, right? Just like this. Maybe just a bit thinner, even there. All right, then we're just gonna to go to insert, click on shapes, and we're going to click on this shape over here, which is the parallelogram. Um, we're going to bring that here and we're going to move the yellow circle all the way to the right, just like that, right? Perfect. I'm gonna bring that here. I'm gonna press Control Shift, bring that downwards just like this, and then I'm going to go to Home, I'm gonna to go to Arrange, I'm gonna to go to Align, and sorry, Rotate, and then I'm gonna click on Flip Vertical. Then I'm gonna bring that up, just like that, boom. So, let's just move these to the right. Let's make everything black with no outline. Perfect. Um, you can play around with it as much as you'd like. Sorry. So I'm just going to spread, make these a bit smaller. 
And then I'm just gonna highlight everything, go to arrange, align, then distribute vertically just to make sure that there's complete alignment across the board, perfect. So once we have our dart, what we're going to do is I'm just gonna highlight everything, group it up. I'm just gonna rotate it so we can position it where the tail is, is flinging off to the left here. Uh, I'm gonna rotate it like this, bring it down to the middle, maybe just make it a bit bigger. By the way, this is where you get creative, have fun, right? Uh, don't look for something precise, just look for something that looks right in your eyes. So, for example, I feel that maybe this is a bit too big, so what I might do now is just make that a bit thinner. Like that. And bring that up here. Love it! There we go, perfect. Okay? So there we go, there's our dartboard, and there's our dart. Easy peasy. Step two, set up the slide. All right, so we have our dart and we have our dartboard. Now we're just gonna group everything up by pressing Control G. We're gonna hold Shift and press up, right, up, right, up, right, right? Uh, we're going to make it this big so we can position it on the left, right? Uh, we might make it a bit bigger down the line, but let's just see where we end up with, with this for now. I'm gonna put that here, just like that. Actually, we can do that just a bit bigger. Yep, that's fine. And we're going to go to insert, click on shapes, and we're going to click on this rectangle over here. We're going to draw the rectangle just like this. Okay? We're going to remove the outline. We're going to make it a very light gray. Like that. We're going to send it to back. Like that. Now, we're going to try and align these guys as best as we can by highlighting both things, going to home, going to arrange, going to align, and then going to align middle. Like that. Group it up and then do the same thing. Arrange, align, and then align middle. Boom, perfect. All right, so now we have set up the slide. Um, actually, we just need a title. Let's just bring that in now, I think. It'd be a good idea if we did that now because we might have to move it later, but hey, let's just do that. So I just went, by the way, I just went to home, I just went to insert, sorry, and I clicked on text box, brought that text box in here, um, and I'm just gonna type out objectives as the title, right? Maybe a period to make it super serious. Uh, go to home. Let's just change the font. I have the Anton font with me here. I'm actually going to go for a size, I don't know, 35? Maybe? Maybe we can reduce that down the line somewhere. I'm going to put that over here. Position it just like that. And I think now we are good. So we can move on to the next step. Step three, add your objective. All right, it is text and icon time. So the first thing we're gonna do is bring in our icons and I'm gonna bring in these bad boys over here. I'm just gonna place them over here for now. I should just put them here for now. Um, if you do not know how to bring in editable icons into your PowerPoint slide and you do not have the insert icons button like I do in your PowerPoint software, then please, please, please click on the link in the description or in the info button on the top right to show you how you can bring in any editable icon. Remember, these are not pictures. These are not pictures. Look, you could do this. You could do this. You could do this. These are not pictures, guys. Uh, you can bring in any editable icon you, uh, that you want, and we're going to show you exactly how to do it, so click those links. But for right now, I'm going to be using these icons over here. First things first, let's add our first objective. I'm going to bring that up to the top over here. We're going to go to insert, click on text box, bring in a text box just over here and I'm just going to type in heading just like that change it to Anton and I'm just going to be placing it on the left as well all right so with that done I'm going to go to insert I'm going to click on text box and I'm just going to draw another text box over here I'm going to just type in some gibberish but remember these are your objectives right uh, I'm going to set the font size or oh, it's already 12 that's fine I'm going to change it to a body extra light as well, the font, so there's a bit of a play with the fonts there. And I'm gonna align it to the left of the heading. Now the reason why I'm aligning it to the left is because the slide itself has that direction set. Remember the dartboard is set on the left, right? I want my audience to review and read and process everything from left to right. There's actually a strategy behind this, you know, design, behind this, behind the way that we lay out the slide, right? We want the design, we want the audience to just go like, oh, okay, there's a dartboard, there's objective one, there's objective two, etc., etc. So, uh, I'm aligning everything to the left. I think that looks great. For a little creative flair, I'm gonna go to shapes. I'm gonna click on this line over here. Let's just zoom in a bit and draw a line like this. I'm going to make it red, just like the color of the dartboard we have over here. 
and I'm just going to bring that up like this. Maybe just make it a bit thinner. Yeah, that's cool. That looks awesome. I like that a lot. And yeah, there we go. So we can group these guys up now, just like this. And we're going to position it so that the icon is now talking to everything else. Now, to, now I'm going to show you guys a little trick I do here um, to, to show that, you know, to make sure everything is completely aligned to the left. Just go to insert, go to shapes, click on this rectangle, and then just draw out a rectangle like this, right? Now, you want to play around with everything so that everything is barely touching the right side of this rectangle, right? So I'm going to be moving this to the right. Is it barely touching it? Yes, it's barely touching it now. Cool. So is this barely touching it? Yes, it is. Okay. So is this line doing that? Yeah, it is. And is this text doing it? Yes, it is. Okay, so now we can just click on this and delete. And now everything's aligned to the left. How cool is that? And that is just one objective. So the next step is going to show you how we can bring in more objectives. Step four, replicate and modify. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have one objective here. So we're going to use that as a basis for all our other objectives. We're going to highlight everything, both the icon and the text box. We're going to press control G to group it all up. We're going to then press control and shift and move this to the right here and move it to the right one more time. Then we're just going to highlight all three of these little groups here. Go to arrange, go to align, and then click on distribute horizontally. Just to ensure that everything has space and everything looks awesome. We can then ungroup these little guys here. What we can do is we can move this box over here. And then we can press control X. We can delete this icon, press control V. Boom. Do the same thing here. So control X on the icon you're moving into. Delete the old icon, press control V. Done. There you go. So now all we have to do is just, you know, one final touch. You know, you know how, you know, some artists like, like to, like to have that last paint stroke or something that, that's, that's what we're going to do, right? We're going to highlight everything here and then we're going to do something super awesome. We're going to go to format. We're going to go to graphics fill. We're going to click on the red. Boom. Perfect. Love it. So easy to do. And I think that this slide is much, much more better looking than the previous slide that I, I showed you guys. Don't get me wrong, the previous slide, you can still learn stuff from it, but I think that this one sort of has that, um, I think that Sly Cow has, you know, uh, upped its game a little bit since then, right? That's that's what I think. I think that uh, this is just a demonstration of to sh just to show you guys how far we've come. And, you know, if it's all about the knowledge, then it's all about the knowledge. At least you guys get to know exactly how to redesign a slide, if anything. That's it for me this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please do like, do share, do comment, and do subscribe. And please do visit slycow.com. I have free stuff there for y'all. Um, I will see you guys next week. This is Yo-Yo signing off. Bye-bye.